this is Basil and Will, and today we're gonna show you how to s make a mess. That's my fault. How the heck do I choose a drone when I have about 10 in front of me and 10 more on the way, and manufacturers coming out with a new quad every time I turn around? How do I choose This one? is by far the hardest question really to answer. Um, uh, in this video, we're gonna go over a couple key points with several different quads to kind of give you an idea. Um, instead of saying, watch this video, watch that video, watch that, um, we're kind of merging them all together and giving a little plus and minus of each one to kind of get you a rough idea of what to get, what not to get, depending on what your needs and wants are. Quads we don't carry. Now we get samples from all manufacturers just about weekly, um, all over the place. Yeah. And we test them out and we only sell the ones that we like and fly and have fun with. So if we don't carry it, we do not suggest you buy it. Either yeah. from us, which we don't sell, or from anybody else. <clears throat> really good deals out there that seem like they're really good deals. Um, some of them are just not worth buying. Yeah. Uh, this, I don't know what they were thinking on this one. This Go further than that. Some we get for free and we don't push post those videos and some we pay for and we post those videos. So it's not a, well, we're getting sponsored. We're doing a video. We're yeah. going to make everything sound good. If it stinks, we don't post it because or carry it. And we've always kind of followed a little motto, sell what you like, because it's easier to sell something you like. If you're passionate um, about it, we sell it. And yeah. of course, everything you see here, we sell. <clears throat> <laughs> and there's other sell. companies that are just selling these things and expecting the end user to do soldering on this stuff. That defective, you, that's defective. That, in my yeah, that, that's a defect. That's things right there. You know, there's things we check and if, if it doesn't cut the mustard, we're not going to send them out the door. We're right. trying to make sure you guys are getting a, a fun, happy experience with right. this stuff instead of a frustration. Right. So let's start up with price. These are all about the same price. The ones we're going to list they are all about the 60 ish, this hundred dollar range. Oh, well, except for this guy over here, but yeah. Um, Depending on what you're getting, yeah. $150. Yeah, I mean, if you get brushless, they're gonna be more expensive right off the bat. And on top of it, brushless is gonna have a lot more power, which is cool if you can handle it. Tuning. This one's already broke yeah. before the video. Yeah, I broke it within five minutes. Oh. He can't handle the truth. But my fault. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> when you're factoring in price, you gotta remember. There's not just the cost of the quad itself, the upfront cost. You also have parts, um, accessories, stuff like that. The batteries can range in price. Some of these quads have very cheap batteries, some have very expensive batteries. Uh, some are really easy to get, some are impossible to get depending on if it's a hot product right now. Some use a JST and some use a weird brand we've never even seen yeah, before. Yeah, Molex connectors, JST, uh, the motors themselves, you got brush motors, brushless motors. Brush motors are extremely cheap. Um, some of them are plug-in motors, some are soldered in, so you also got to factor that in. If you're going to wear motors out, uh, it might be a good idea to get one that has plug-in motors so it's easy to change the motors if you don't know how to solder. Environment is probably the next biggest factor where, what quad to get. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna fly only in your house, if you got a small apartment or something like that, you're not gonna wanna fly a brushless quad inside the house, so it's just too much power. These two are relatively the same price. Yeah, they they don't look that much different in size, but, but this one is strictly inside couch flying, and this one is almost strictly outside. Yeah, the little guys like the Inductric style, um, the easier tens and all that. Uh, this one, the motors are enough power to fly when you have the camera on. It's enough to fly it around, zip around, and all that. Get started with it. But one thing you're going to find with this is if you take it outside and there's any wind, you might get stuck in a tree and you might not get it down. So this is really better for in gymnasiums, in the house, stuff like that. Something where really? it's easy to get Zero it. wind. Zero yeah. wind. And speaking of outside, this this guy is mostly indoor. Yeah. And then you some got... outside. This is some outside. Most outside. Some indoor. Yeah. This is only outside. This is only outside. And anything can be flown in the gym. So really, for prior videos, if you watch the other videos, if you want more information on either quad, we have videos for that. The ducks, so they're good for indoor because they can bump into things without the props getting flung, flung off or hitting something. But they also have the the power from the bigger motors to be able to fly outside relatively good. Is it as good as something like the QX90? No, not right. for outside, if you're right. flying purely outside. Um, but then another factor comes in, the actual weight of the quad. Um, the prop guards on the QX90 gives it the ability to have an outdoor base quad fly better inside because you can put the prop guards on it, the smaller props, stuff like that, tame the power. Is it gonna be as durable as some of the other ones? Probably not as much, but it has the ability to fly inside and outside. It's more a little more versatile. On the other quads, they're a little heavier. These handle the wind better. This is like the Frog and the Vantic. Um, you know, this one's a two cell brush, so it actually has a lot more power. Um, a little more weight to it, it handles the wind better and the, the actual shape of it is smoother. Uh, you'll find that is also in the Vantic. 
uh, a little more weight to it, so if it bumps into things or the wind's pushing around, it actually handles a little better in the wind. Yep. Um, now, both of these are configured to where you could fly them inside a house as well with the prop guards and the tri-blades. They still work better outside, in my opinion. Uh, put the regular props on it, run it outside. And the last, and probably the most frustrating for us, is skill level in terms of either your flying skill, and if you pretty much can fly one, you can pretty much fly yeah, well. Yeah, we're, we're not saying flying skill like you all have to be steel and schizo. No, we're talking Just about skill with right between. Right is right, and left is left, and then when they're coming at you, left is right, right is right, but up is up and down is yeah, down. Yeah, it's, it's can you fly them? Have you flown them before? If but skill level is broken up kind of in two categories. You have your flying ability, and then you have your the, your, this the, is the one that he loves, is your computer software setup, beta flight, clean flight, all that good stuff. Yeah, and, that, and that's what I was kind of going to. Um, so I can, cannot plug this in and just fly like an airplane. No, you're, the days of hooking these, uh, plugging a radio in and flying your quads, uh, or uh, your plane bind and stuff like that, bind they're and, gone. Bind and fly. Um, if you're doing a bind and fly, most of these, now they're using clean flight, beta flight, uh, open pilot, if anybody's still using that. So part of the hobby, is the computer setup is setting it up if yes some people we get customers here all the time they love it they love clean flight they love tinkering with the tune yeah. the pids they love it i don't really enjoy it because i want to my time is limited i want to fly so i'll get something that's kind of ready to fly or just give it to will those things right there you do have to connect to the computer you do need to set it up basically if nothing else just to set the endpoints on the radio that's how the quad flies properly we're not dealing with mechanical trims like a plane or a helicopter, we are dealing with digital trims. The gyros and all that have to know what center is and they have to know what full left, full right, full up, full down is. If they don't have that set right, they're not gonna ever fly properly. They might drift, they might uh, roll funny, you might have really fast left rolls but not right rolls, stuff like that. So you need to set that up on a computer and that's we have videos for that as well. Now you have brushed and brushless. Um, brushless is awesome, it's got a lot more power uh, there's also added cost to the parts and all that. You're dealing with a lot more power and a lot more tunability with some of these. Um, there's a lot more to adjust, more to uh, configure, and it might not fly as good out of the box. And let's face it, if you're considering a brushless quad, you're not watching this video. Yeah. You already I mean, know what you're gonna get, you know what you're doing. I've seen several people that have bought the micro brushless ones and they're broken very quickly. Brushless ones, don't go into those until you've definitely got the flying down and you've mastered other quads, whether it be a 250 size quad or a micro brush quad. Now guys, another thing to factor in is the hobby is changing. Um, everyone sees it, the hobby is definitely changing. Multi-rotors are coming, they're very popular, everything's there. Half the quad is electronics, so the hobby is branching out versus physical building. Um, now with all these plug and plays and everything, we're dealing with things where you're setting a computer and the, the hobby's expanded to where now right. it's like computer programming. And, and in the brushless quad, there's hardly any moving parts or any kind of friction parts. You have yeah. the four motors and they're brushless, there's nothing even touching. Yeah. So you have really less mechanical and more electronic. Yeah, the computer setup, if you want to get into FPV, you really need to start right. learning some of the, the multi-rotor software. So search in your local area on Facebook, stuff like that. Like we're in Atlanta, uh, there's a huge FPV group on Facebook, stuff like that. There's all kinds of clubs and associations for this stuff but to even meet people. But even better, subscribe to our videos and hit the little bell because anything we have new, you'll know exactly what to get. Yeah, we're, so. we're trying to make tutorials too on a lot of the stuff we're setting up to make it a little easier, but there's only so much we can do. <laughs> All right, so I hope that thoroughly confused you. I confused me. I think we confused everyone I think we confused more, everybody. Yeah. But you get the point. There's not a quad for everybody. You have to do some basic research. We can't just say, oh, buy this one because blah, 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 blah. Not everyone drives a Ford for a reason. Right. Even though they're the best. Just saying. <laughs> I know you got a Corvette. Huh? So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below on anything we missed or anything you feel that we um, could help other people out about how to choose a quad in terms of price, everything we just went over, and like that. Yep, cool. So you want the easiest one? The easiest one for me for to start you. with. Yes. Which should probably be this. So all right, this is the easiest one. No Do you like it? Setup. The problem with that one right there, I'm afraid that uh, being able to fly it outside so much. So you had to go bigger. So that's, this this is only indoor bigger. only. Yeah. So then you got to choose, let's go with the QX90 or the QX70. Well, if you want to fly outside. Oh, outside. What do you mean go indoor only? Well, this is only for inside because this is the size, right? I don't want to necessarily fly inside so, okay. because I don't then, have enough room because then, I'm new. Then this is not for you. 
That's not for me. So only outside will be the frog. Only well, uh, an outside, maybe inside some like maybe a inside. gym or something. Well then, I've got plenty of room. Maybe inside. Sure so the QX90 would. would be also the mostly outside, some inside. This is probably the better route. Okay. Right. Put, put, so this is some, but still, this is a buy the fly. We do have a plot right at the fly. Yeah. So this is something you have to <laughs> know what you're doing. A with the DSM two, or get a three or something, or buy the right of the fly. I like the ability of the, the uh, ready to fly. I can just get it, put the battery in, charge it up, and start flying. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. 